to play more combined minutes on a floor. He said he probably thinks he'll be in the low 20s, Stu, but that'll depend on how he feels early. But more than anything else, he just can't wait to start this game. And I know everybody, including you guys, are excited to see what happens right now. Oh, no question. We're very excited to see how he reacts to his first time back on a real in a real game. And you talked about those nerves. I talked to him. Uh, he's never. He's When he came in as a rookie, a, yeah. a teenager, he wasn't nervous. He is extremely nervous tonight. And we are underway. Kobe and the Lakers taking on Toronto. Lakers 10 and 9, a game above the 500 mark, and playing really good basketball. They've won six out of their last eight. Lakers on defense, and this is a part of the floor. Obviously, we're very curious on how Kobe will react on the defensive end as Valentunas, the second year center, turns and scores over Robert Sacre. Nice little move by Valentunas. Just a little baseline turn and scored rather easily. Crowd roars as Kobe touches the basketball. It's into Sacre. Back to Kobe Bryant. Everybody waiting for that first shot to go up. Got 10 on the shot clock. Kobe pass underneath to Sacre to score. And Kobe picks up the assist. You know, and that's what I'd like to see him do for a while. It's not necessarily look to score. Be more of a facilitator. And I think that role will be in his hands once Steve Blake has, or has to go to the bench for a rest. He's the backup point, isn't he? Yeah, well.